Good morning, Fairbanks family. We have urgent breaking news today. It is Friday, November 30th. Please stay tuned. There was a 7.0 earthquake in Anchorage today and we felt it all the way up here in Fairbanks. I just had to tell you guys right before I clocked in. I was on the phone with my mom at a red light and my truck was swaying, like shaking side to side, like very noticeably. I looked up at the lights. We have those like poles that stretch out across the street. In Georgia, they have like wires in a lot of places where the street lights are hanging on them. And we have those metal poles. But anyways, um, I look at those and they're like bouncing, right? So I'm looking at the trees, which don't have no leaves on them. So I'm like, hmm. It don't really look like nothing's blowing, but I thought it was being windy. It's not windy. There was just a 7.2 earthquake near Anchorage, and apparently there are tsunami warnings, etc. As I get more information, sorry about the light, as I get more information, I will add it to this video and I'll upload it like this afternoon. So by the time you guys get on the East Coast, it'll probably be evening. Sorry about that. We're on Alaska time. I'm going to need you to get with it. Love you guys. See you in a minute. All right, you guys, although I normally upload this video when I get off of work, um, today I just couldn't wait, and I wanted you guys to be able to follow along. There is a link in the description for CBSN News. You can probably also look up uh, KTVA, that's KTVA.com. They're also supposed to have information on their news website online that will be updating every single hour to give you news about what happened in Anchorage today. Um, for many of you that follow our lifestyle here in Alaska, a lot of you are also following like the Alaska life and things like that. Sorry you guys, I'm looking down at some notes I took earlier while I was working and listening to all this news live on the news station. Um, but if you do follow some of those things or follow us, you might already know that there was a 7.0 earthquake that hit Anchorage, Alaska this morning at 8.29 a.m. Alaska time. It was pretty shallow and it was only seven miles north of Anchorage, so it has caused extensive damage. So much damage so that the Anchorage School District has been telling parents to go ahead and pick up their children. A lot of the kids who are on the way to schools, the schools reported so much damage, including roofs being caved in. And I know they had some pipe leaks, and so there's gas um, smells in different schools, glass broken, things like that. So they're actually rerouting all of those kids to nearby fire stations. And so if you happen to live in Anchorage and you have kids in school and the school isn't picking up, make sure you call the closest fire station to you and your kids should be there. So after the 7.0 earthquake at 829 this morning in Anchorage, there was a 5.7 aftershock and another aftershock of 4.1. And as I was continuing to listen to CBSN News, which is uh, Channel 11 in Anchorage, the uh, news channel, um, they had three more aftershocks. Then Homeland Security came on with a warning or basically a statement saying that Although, you know, uh, we're just experiencing aftershocks right now, it is quite possible that today and for the next few days, keep in mind, the next few days, that the aftershocks might re-increase in nature and be even stronger than the original 7.0 earthquake. Can you believe that? I guess you learn something new every day because I really would have never thought to think. I would have never even thought that uh, aftershocks, I thought that's why they were called aftershocks, because they weren't as strong as the first one. Um, all the news that I was watching and articles that I've read, everybody in Anchorage is reporting this low growl or low rumble that they heard right before the earthquake just suddenly just hit them. It didn't build up and increase in magnitude. It was just instantly devastating. And so... There was a live aftershock when I was watching the news. Um, I actually saw on CBSN a lot of stuff falling, and they got back under the uh, tables and stuff like that, and they were still filming. 
Um, at 10.27 a.m. this morning while watching a live news footage from CBSN live video. And I will have that link in the description. Once again, the link to all this live footage that's going on with the breaking news of the earthquake right now, the link is in the description right now. I do know that overpasses and ramps have collapsed. There is a tsunami warning. Um, once again, I'm at work, so I'm not quite sure if they've dismissed that tsunami warning yet. Uh, but it was a relatively shallow earthquake. It was very strong. There have been a ton of aftershocks, and they will continue for a while. So they might have to continue to look out for that. Um, I know that the power at the KTVA pow uh, news station down in Anchorage, which is an affiliate of CBSN, which is who I have been listening to, their power was knocked out for at least an hour. And before their power came back up, I started, you know, watching and listening to CBSN news, which is, like I said, Channel 11 in Anchorage. And the only way they were on air is because they had a few battery packs already charged up. And so they're just using that to try and continue to report, you know, any live information that they can to let people know what roads to stay off of, what not to do, what to do, um, things like that. So once again, a 7.0 earthquake, it sounded like thumber, thunder or rolling thunder up under the ground before it actually started shaking everything. Now, I will say this. You guys are going to ask me if we felt it. Yes, we absolutely felt it. A six-hour drive north from Anchorage here in Fairbanks, we felt it. I was not at home, but Keita did let me know that our cabin was shaking, had to go outside, check the propane tanks, you know, all of our stuff, heating fuel tanks, make sure all the connections are still good, everything is still flowing like it's supposed to, and nothing was knocked over into the snow. Now, I was on my way to work, and I happened to be stopped at a red light when the 7.0 happened, because it was at 8.29, and I have to be at work at 9 o'clock. So, with that being said, I was sitting at a red light, talking to my mom, and my truck just started, nah, 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 like just very noticeably just shifting side to side, side to side, side to side. And so I'm looking around, and I don't see any snow blowing off of anything, so it couldn't be the wind. I rolled down the window, didn't feel anything, but I did notice all the street lights on the metal poles were just a bouncing and bouncing. You know, I really didn't pay any attention to what I thought it was, but as soon as I got to work, that is all everybody was talking about, because a lot of people here have family in Anchorage, so there, um, that happened. So the Anchorage School District is telling parents, come get their kids. If you can't find them at the school, if the school's not picking up, make sure you go pick them up from the fire station closest to you. Uh, warnings have been issued for everyone to stay off of the road. There is an emergency um, statement out right now. If you are not on the road, stay off of the road. If you are on the road, get off of the road. If you are at home, stay home. Most people aren't going to be going to work in Anchorage as the majority of the roads have been absolutely destroyed. Right now, you cannot get from Anchorage to Fairbanks. And we have a new store opening up. So that's going to be really interesting how we're going to deal with those logistics. So the aftershocks also caused fires, which uh, first responder teams are responding to. And they will continue to have aftershocks for the rest of the day. And they may be more powerful than the original earthquake for the next few days. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline, you guys would be interested to know, was shut down at 10.40 a.m. Alaska time, but it was just a precaution. There was no actual damage found at the time. I will go back and see if I can find some updates. They just shut it down as a precaution to make sure they can check and see if anything had happened. They didn't see anything at the time. Um, so like I said, there was no initial damage. I'm not sure if they found any now because it's been about three, four hours since then. So, yeah. Like I said, I couldn't wait any longer to do this at the end of the day, so I had to go ahead and give you guys this information. I also got information about rock slides on the Seward Highway at mile 104. So when you guys go look at your map, look at where the Seward Highway is at mile 104. Look where the Eagle River Bridge is coming in uh, to try and get to Anchorage. Look where the Glen Highway is and see where Fairbanks is and how widespread all of these earthquakes were. The rock slides on Seward Highway at mile 104 have been cleaned up two, three, four, five, six times. But every single time there's another aftershock, more rocks fall, they got to clean it up again. There is extensive damage to the Eagle River Bridge or the on route, and so nobody can get into town, into Anchorage from there. The Glen Highway is backed all the way up because they can't use the Eagle River Bridge. I saw a lot of footage of collapsed roads, collapsed overpasses, 
um, streets with splits in them and cars have fallen in. A few buildings have, you know, come down. But the building codes in Anchorage are, you know, set in a way where they're supposed to be able to withstand a certain amount of earthquake. So, um, man, it's just devastation in Anchorage right now. I want to make sure I tell you guys everything that all the information I got. Students being rerouted, yada, yada, yada. Link in the description. So, yeah, lots of roads are closed down. You absolutely cannot travel from Anchorage to Fairbanks right now as there is only one highway to get down there. Um, and it's only like two lanes anyway. So to lose any portion of the road means there is no road. So seeing as how construction season is in the summer, I'm really not sure how much they can do to fix collapsed roadways. Like concave, collapsed falling onto another road or falling down into the sewer system, whatever have you, um, whatever the case may be, I, I'm just not really sure how um, we're going to deal with this. I do know that the first responders were asking the news to say, please stay off of the phone lines. If you are not personally in an emergency right at that moment, they know that there was an earthquake. Please stay off of the phone lines. There are people in a lot of danger that need a lot of help and they can't get through on the lines because everybody's calling to say, hey, did you know we had an earthquake? Um, so yeah, the sun is in my face. I tried to put the visor in the way so that it wouldn't bother me, but cars driving by, as you can see it blink here and there, those are cars driving by. So I have two minutes to go back to work, clock in and do what I need to do. I just wanted you guys to know if you heard about the earthquake, yes, Fairbanks Fundamentals, my family, we are fine. People in Anchorage are not doing so well. There is smells of gas all over South, um, south Southern uh, Alaska. And so, yeah, if you smell gas, turn your stuff off. If you don't, leave it alone. I know a lot of people have broken water pipes, including the news station. They're, like, reporting in pools of water. Like, the whole newsroom is just full of water. And it's just amazing to see the devastation. I personally haven't experienced a uh, hurricane. Um, not a hurricane. <laughs> what am I doing? I uh, haven't experienced a... Somebody help me. Earthquake like this since I was like maybe eight, nine years old when I was living in California. So I know we get a lot of earthquakes, but being on the West Coast, I just haven't felt them. But this morning, I definitely felt it. So, you know, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, we talk about the fun and we talk about the perils on this channel. And I just want to give it to you guys straight. We had a really big earthquake this morning. We could feel it all the way up here in Fairbanks. And it is devastating still to this right now to this moment devastating anchorage so check the link in the description if you can't find or follow the link go to kva ktva.com or cbsn news and you should be able to find that they're also on facebook i know they were live streaming on there for a while because they didn't have any equipment because everything was all messed up and the power was off so hope you guys are doing well for this friday november 30th love you guys have a great one